evening. For the second time in a week, an Islamic center in our city has been vandalized. This time it happened in the northwest community of Ranchlands. But instead of turning to anger, the Muslim community is now opening its doors to the public in hopes it open, opens minds as well. Jamie Morocco reports. On Saturday, just before morning prayer, attendees at this Ranchlands mosque noticed shards of glass, a broken window, and a sign thrown on the ground. Somebody may, uh, may have some reservations, again, you know, due to the misunderstandings of the messages from different religions. And while police are looking into it, some here worry it's part of a concerning trend. Just over a week ago, an Islamic center in Queensland was also vandalized. Outside smashed glass, inside a burnt Quran. Investigators are looking at a number of hate crime charges. That happening the same week, hate-filled posters were left around UFC campus and in mailboxes in Hillhurst Sunnyside with messages telling Muslims they aren't welcome here. First thought is how ignorance is so prevalent in people. At just 15 years old, Ali Wasim says he's been on the receiving end of that ignorance many times. In grade 9, which was last year for me, every single day I was called a terrorist at school. But instead of getting angry, he and other members of the Islamic Association of Northwest Calgary are hoping to use education to bridge any gaps, deciding to hold an open house. Just trying to get people away from that mindset where Islam equals terrorism. It is a religion of peace and like how our society these days, they, um, they incorporate uh, terrorists and Muslims and I feel like that's not right. The end game is that we all need to talk and we all need to live together. You know, there's no place for hate amongst anyone here. As for the damage that's already been done? We know that this act is, is one out of a million. I mean, we know that uh, uh, this does not represent who we are as Calgarians. As you can see, this building is under construction. So at the time of the incident, the cameras were actually offline. But as of Saturday, they've installed new cameras and made sure that they are recording in hopes of deterring any more vandalism. Jamie Marocker, CTV News, Calgary.